we started with the Ilditz as a, as a brand new gun. That was important to do that because you, that's your baseline to work from. And we thoroughly measured the gun. We didn't at that stage pay too much attention to the internals of the action, but we were more concerned with the barrels and they were thoroughly measured, much more than you would do for say proof or or inspection. So we measured them about every inch. Um, so we had a good picture of the internal diameter of the barrels and the shape of them. And um, the gun went away then, and it was, as I'm told, furiously shot with steel. We then re-measured it again, an intermediate check, and um, posted our findings and to be quite honest there was no material changes to the barrels at all through the entire process and it fared very very well. I would still expect with that sort of furious use to see where on the on the joint, the hinge pin, um, strikers, tumblers, ejector kickers and the, the internal diameter of the barrels themselves even, even if it's only for them to settle down from a new gun, which, which does happen. But to be fair, I didn't see any. Is it a fluke? No, I suspect not. The gun was built quite nicely and it, it didn't wear. I would love to say that it did and oh dear, this, this is no good at all. But I, actually I can't say that in all honesty because it didn't. Uh, and there was no material wear. Even on the finish of the gun as well, the finish, the finish was very good. The, the blacking was good, the finish on the action was good, and there was no wear at all. And a thorough clean, you could quite easily have put the gun up, back up for sale as new, and you wouldn't have known, you would have been none the wiser. That's how little it wore. So it was very good, it really was, I'm very impressed. Very impressed. The only issue that we had which was not an issue with the gun, it was an issue with the cartridge. The gun suffered dreadful fouling. Apart from the fouling, then it, 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 the, the cartridges appeared fine. There was no, no damage to the bore, as you possibly might expect. And that there was none, none at all. But the fouling, it was a problem. In saying that, they did shoot quite a lot of cartridges in quite a short space of time. I've seen it after thousands and thousands of rounds, so uh, likely as not, people wouldn't treat it that way. But, but that was the only issue. 